I want to spend time, some time talking about the color schemas. Uh, so that how we can apply color for the uh, color plasma. Uh, so basically, there normally we was, we say that there are three types of color schemas: sequential, uh, diverging, and also categorical. Okay, so sequential means that we are using a single hue. Okay, a single hue, uh, but we change uh, either the saturation or the brightness. Of the color to represent the quantities, uh, so to represent the different range of the numbers. So that is sing uh, that is sequential. So we use a single hue. The diverging is that we use a two type of the hue, okay, and we are changing the uh, either uh, the saturation or the brightness, but instead we use a single hue. We use two type of the hues. And that is also used to representing uh, the uh, the numbers, the the quantitative data set. Uh, the difference is that so for the sequential, you don't want to highlight any specific range, and but for the diverging, so if you do want to highlight a specific range, like either the minimal or the maximal, and you can use diverging. So for those two type of the uh, color schemers, those are used for the numbers, to, to represent in numbers. Okay, and this one, categorical data uh, schemer is used to represent in categorical data, like for example, the land use, different type of land use. So just use a different type of the hues to represent different type of, of the categorical data. Sometimes we also can use a highlight or alert, which essentially is, is just, we put everything as gray or white, or, or that's some, something that um, as a background, and we use a cold color or the warm color uh, to highlight the portion of the data that we want to emphasize. So for example, that in the locate map that we created uh, in the previous lab that uh, we highlight Virginia, and we put all the other states uh, with a gray color, and we give Virginia a red color, so that we want highlight Virginia that uh, in the United States. Okay, so let's see one example that we're using sequential color. So here we're using a sequential color, so we use orange, just one single hue, but we change the uh, uh, the the brightness of the color and to representing the unemployment rate. So we don't want to emphasize any specific range of the data set, so we just use a sequential. Uh, and this is, is an example of using diverging, so that we use uh, blue and orange, and we also change their uh, brightness. But here we can emphasize the profit that are making profit or that they are losing money, okay? So they are all, uh, um, positive or negative. So here we can see that the profit in different states, and it, it is very clear that we want to emphasize which states are making profit and which states are not, not making profit. Okay, so those are different color schemas. And when we talk about using colors, so here are some tips that keep in mind. So that first, uh, there are they are about 10% or 8% of the men that are colorblind, okay? So try to avoid using red, green colors. Instead, blue, orange is a good alternative, okay? For continuous status, use sequential or diverging color schemas are more effective. Uh, for discrete, discrete data or for categorical data, so you can use multiple types of colors. However, try to limit the number of different colors beneath five. Otherwise, our human eyes cannot distinguish more than five colors. Okay, so otherwise we cannot distinguish more than five colors. So here I want to give you just an example that how, why, the, uh, why should we should try to avoid using red and also green. So, 
And this is the apple that how the people that see that uh, without the color vision uh, deficiency. And on the right side, that is how the people looking at the red green with color vision deficiency. So for example, if you are using the red green colors on the bar chart, and um, people that without color deficiency, deficiency will be easy to tell the difference between red and also green. However, so people with color deficiencies, it's really hard to tell the difference. Okay, so that is really that the case that you should try to avoid using red and green colors. However, so use orange and also blue instead because uh, uh, people that without color deficiency can easily tell the difference and people with color deficiency can also tell the difference. So this is a safe choice when you when you're uh, using colors. And also, as I said earlier, try to limit the number of colors beneath five again, okay? Because many studies indicate that humans can only distinguish eight different type of colors at, at a time. So here you can see this is an example that we are using too many type of colors, okay? So it's really make your, your visualization a messy and also you can really, you cannot tell um, and also even remember which color it's standing for. So make sure that you keep your colors beneath five so that this will be a better uh, visualization. Okay, so that you can, it's easy for you to interpret. And also when you're, when we are dealing with colors, we also we want to make sure that pay attention to our background. So make sure that your background as a, you have a consistent background, so because um, the background also can influence uh, the interpretation of your colors. So color perception is relative, and make sure that you are using a consistent uh, background. Okay, so those are some tips that when we are using colors.